Hey there, we know this officer who was killed was a two lane police officer as well as a reserve officer with the city constable's office. He was here at George Washington Carver High School working a security job at that basketball game when he was shot. Now we did hear from police chief Sean Ferguson a little bit earlier. He did not answer any questions, but he does say the shooter who he did not who he did not identify was trying to get inside the game and had some type of altercation with a staff member. Now, according to our partners at the New Orleans Advocate, this all may have stemmed from a dispute regarding the suspect's refusal to wear a mask. Now, the officer who was shot heard the disturbance and then attempted to intervene and escort the suspect outside. That's when Ferguson says the suspect pulled out a gun and shot the officer in the chest. That officer was taken to the hospital where he later died. The suspect arrested here at the scene. Our homicide detectives, our homicide division will be the lead in this investigation, while our force investigation team will assist throughout this process. Normally, FIT, Force Investigation Team, would take lead on officer-involved shootings, but this is a death investigation. And as such, homicide will take lead. An eyewitness news videographer unexpectedly became a witness to all of this. He was here to cover the game when those shots started to be fired. Take a listen to what he had to say. I was outside the building. I was coming into park the parking lot, um, and I uh, heard some shots fired. and And as I as I looked up, obviously with with that happening, I just uh, looked up and saw a suspect, you know, looking towards the entrance of the gym and cops, you know, um, at the top of the steps trying to keep him at bay um, and and trying to figure out. What the heck's going on? You know, um, so no, I wasn't inside. It was, it was just, uh, just as I was coming into park to go shoot the game, basically. What was going through your mind when you saw this happening in front of you? Um, actually, I was just, uh, I was totally, I was actually surprised. I mean, because there was ample amount of security around. Um, there were cops circling the parking lot, making sure everything was safe. Um, and then, you know, there were cops on top of the steps. So I'm like, man, that's, that's kind of a brazen move. And Chief Ferguson says he is unable to identify the officer who was killed, but says more information will come later. Live outside Carver High School, Mike McDaniel, Eyewitness News.